The central coast of California has one of the most plentiful marine ecosystems on our planet. It's a living tapestry of biological diversity and home to the adorable southern sea otter. Tourists from around the world flock to see this amazing animal and marvel at its unique behaviors. But after being brought back from the brink of extinction, sea otters are once again in peril. In the last three years, an unprecedented number of sea otter mortalities have occurred along the California coast. California sea otters were already on the endangered species list and now they're dying off in growing numbers. Well, an alarming trend off the California coast for the second straight year, researchers say the state's southern sea otters are dying in very high numbers. Like crime scene detectives, a team of scientists are anxiously searching for the causes of the mysterious deaths. One of the lessons to be learned from sea otters is that they're getting hit by a whole bunch of different things. And a lot of that has to do with their unique biology and how they differ from other marine mammals that live along the coast. But not everyone wants to support a thriving sea otter population. Otters are at the center of a bitter controversy regarding the Fish and Wildlife Service's recent decision to eliminate their no otter zone from Southern California waters. For 25 years, this imaginary line in the ocean was designed to protect the interests of the commercial shellfish industry. Many fishermen are outraged by its removal. It doesn't solve the problem. It continues the problem into a larger area and into an area that's, that's not as nice as the Central California coast. When you come around Point Conception and you come into an area where there's 20 million people living there, the idea of them coming to a promised land is nonsense. It would be a, a basic principle of ecology that if you want more animals, you're going to need more habitat. You can't just cram them all into one spot. If we get otters in San Diego, it's gonna put me out of business. It's just the environmental groups, they have an awful lot of money they have a lot of political clout, and they're trying to bully their way through this thing. It's bad. They're bad. They're bad creatures. I think they should stay in Northern California. Sea otters have also been targets for those who believe environmental conservation is a waste of taxpayer money. Didn't we talk uh, about the sea otter program in California already? Wasn't that one of the things that I said they should cut from their budget in California? Is there a lobbyist for otters and turtles that I don't know about? Because maybe we should hire those lo lobbyists to, I don't know, represent the people of the United States and to hell with the otters and the turtles. Biologists, however, suggest that the plight of sea otters has far-reaching implications that everyone should be concerned about. If otters are struggling, it's an indication of ecological problems that have direct impacts on humans as well. They are the single finest environmental sentinel for land sea pollution that I've ever seen. We really need to pay close attention to the lessons that sea otters are trying to teach us about what's happening to the environment here in California. If sea otters were to disappear from our coast, it could be catastrophic to the kelp forest ecosystem and in fact all the nearshore ecosystems up and down California. For a fragile species threatened by pollution, infectious diseases, starvation, and competition with fishermen, this is a crucial time for the southern sea otter as they struggle for survival.